there's a phobia which people have before they can start applying for jobs. They are wondering how many applications do I really need to put out there before I can get myself a devil's a cloud job or maybe they are, they are not even sure if putting out applications there will give them a job and others have put out more than 100 applications without getting called back. So let's discuss what it would take or how many applications it would take before you can land yourself a dream job and equally how to make your applications such that you can effectively get callbacks from recruiters. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and if it's your first time coming across my content, I share a lot of videos around cloud computing, DevOps, how to get into a career in DevOps and cloud computing, how to effectively prepare for interviews and of course how to be effective in your DevOps and cloud computing job. So how many applications do you need to put out there before you can effectively get a job? Now it is not a question of the number of applications you can have out there, it's a question of how ready are you for a DevOps or for a cloud job. So people think that maybe putting out 100 applications or a single application will give them a job. Now the first thing I will share with you is if you have never been in the industry and you're constantly transitioning to the industry, once you've built the right skill set, I encourage you to apply for as many jobs as possible. If there's a possibility where you can do 10 applications a day, make it a habit to do 10 job applications a day. There are many different job search platforms. We have jobs being posted every day on LinkedIn. We have jobs being posted on Indeed. We have jobs being posted on Dice. For those who are actually not in an area where they can effectively get jobs, we have freelance jobs being posted on platforms like uh, um, Upwork like freelancer.com so there are different platforms where you can apply for these jobs you must make it a habit of constantly applying by the way if you have the skill set and you do not apply there's no way a recruiter can potentially get to know you every weekday you can make it a habit to put out applications minimum of 10 applications if you can do 20 applications a day good put out a lot of applications out there so that's the first thing put out as many job applications as possible if possible do 10 applications a day now the second thing which i'll highlight is the importance of you personalizing your applications it's not just about maybe going to linkedin and you see a job and you click easy apply or you go to linkedin and you see a job and there are like 100 applicants you just put your job out there you must be able to personalize your applications to meet those given jobs they have different set of responsibilities that they want from experts. Some have particular tools or particular skill set. If you have those skills which a particular job requires, you should make sure that the resume or the application which you are submitting for that job should match the skill set which you have. So do not use a single resume or a single cover letter to apply for a hundred jobs. I'm not saying that you should change your companies or change the roles or whatever the case to match a particular job. I'm saying that you should rightly align your resume with the same experience to match a given job. So don't have the same application. You're applying with a cloud engineer for a cloud engineer with the same application. You're applying with a cloud security engineer with the same application. You're applying for a cloud DevOps engineer with the same application. Try as much as possible to personalize your resume or to personalize your job applications to meet the current job which you're interested or which you're applying for. Now, the third tip which I'll share with you is timely applications. There is no way you come to a platform or a job search platform and you see a job that has been posted a month or two ago and you're submitting an application for that job and you're expecting to get that job. It's not rocket science. That job might already have been occupied. I always say to people, before a job is posted, you should have an application for that job already. It's hypothetical. It sounds crazy, but what I'm saying is you should make sure that it should not last more than a day after a job is posted before you're applying. If you're looking for a job, be on the job search platforms. Immediately a job is posted, you have an application for the job. Immediately a job is posted, you have an application for the job. And most of these job search platforms have reminders. They have notifications. If you, if you want to be notified every time a new job is posted for that particular category or for that particular job uh, or industry, you can always get notifications. Go to a platform like LinkedIn, set up your notifications, indeed, whatever, set up notifications such that you always put up timely reminders. Put out as many applications in a day as possible. Go as far as equally personalizing those applications per given job. And why not do the, go the extra mile to make sure that you're submitting timely applications. 
if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button and also if you're currently preparing for your devils and cloud interview there's this platform which i would really recommend for your interview preparation www.wonderprep this platform can help you ace your next devops and cloud engineer role so sign up on this platform and get yourself exploring the different possibilities which you can use this platform in preparing for your next cloud or devops interview now the fourth tip is you must be persistent and patient the DevOps job doesn't just come overnight, right? You must be persistent and patient in your job applications. While you're spending a lot of time doing the applications, just exercise some patience. Some people take out the job applications with at a very fast pace, and when they are not getting callbacks, some relent their efforts, and some are just playing around, not making sure that they are effective in their job applications. You must be able to exercise some patience. And while you're exercising patience, it must, while you're exercising patience, you must be preparing effectively for your interviews. If you're applying for jobs, it means you must be preparing for your interviews. If you're applying for jobs, you must be preparing for your interviews. And you might ask me, how do you prepare for the interviews? I've given you the right platform which you can use to prepare for your next interviews wonder prep so you must be in the process of preparing for your interviews if you send out your 100 applications you must make sure that you are rightly prepared for those interviews while you're getting yourself personalizing those resumes doing everything you should be ready to take those interviews and you'll be ready to taking those interviews is by you personalizing and you being ready to take those interviews is by you understanding the technology. So exercise patience and persevere while preparing effectively for the interviews. And the last tip is you must consistently be learning. You must be in a constant learning process. There is no rocket science in getting a cloud job. You must have the skills. It is not about how many years you've been in the industry. Do you have the skills which the company needs for the moment? How do you build the skills which your company needs for the moment? You must have the skills. You must constantly be learning technologies. You must constantly be mastering projects, mastering implementations. You must master the cloud platform. Once you master all of these platforms, have the right skill set, have the right resume, put out the right resumes you prefer effectively for the interview, there's no way you are not getting a job this year. So spend adequate, so spend adequate time giving out quality applications customizing those applications for each job, doing the right interview preparation, exercising patience, exercising patience, and of course, be in a consistent and constant learning process. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. And again, if you're interested in me doing any content to clarify you about a particular topic, leave that in the comment section. And if you're looking out to get a mentor, equally leave that in the comment section. And see you in my next video.